Watch it, watch it, guys. Pick it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that took a lot of energy to pull myself up there. Holy. Oh. It's gonna be close race. Yep, yeah, she's on the she's on the roof. Go ahead. Go Hurricane Irma Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? So after rebuilding the bulkheads on our Lagoon 450 catamaran, it was so nice to finally be able to enjoy our time in the beautiful San Blas Islands in Panama, where we were loving the amazing white sandy beaches and crystal clear waters that we had been longing for. There were also a few other YouTube channels in the area, so it was so fun meeting up with them all. So Pikey from mate. Sailing Into Freedom just turned up to the anchorage, so we're gonna go say hello. from Pale Revival and crew, if you want to check out Casa El Placa El Dangeroso. <laughs> <laughs> now, watch it, watch it guys. Uh, you have to sign a piece of paper. You could get tetanus, hepatitis. <laughs> um, but if you're happy with that, sign away and come We in. are still okay. But so it really is a pigsty. Don't even come don't get pregnant. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, good. good. YouTube Wars. Look at, the, look at the high quality stone. Try not oh, to get man. rust in your eyes. Look at that! <laughs> she feels solid, Flux. Well, it was it was solid. Was it deceiving. It was no, it was solid before the lightning strike. <laughs> <laughs> we got a problem. What happened is the lightning hit. This is an aluminium frame. And there's water obviously in the core because it's 42 years old. Yeah. I reckon it came through this side and I reckon it superheated the water and so we got delamination. So the boat is actually slowly sinking. Continually now. It's reassuring. <laughs> but I'm hoping for another lightning strike because it might then melt it and glue it back together. Yeah. See? Jesus. Thinking, <laughs> thinking, thinking. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to taste some pineapple beer? Of course. You gotta be careful with your step. I feel like you might fall through at any minute. <laughs> you want to yeah, try? Man. Guys, watch this. Watch this. This is good pineapple beer. Wait, 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 go, wait. go, freaking. Oh. <laughs> Don't waste it! <laughs> Tom, you're from New Zealand, right? It went you, in you, my drink, ear. you drink from your mouth, mate, not your ear. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much we got now. Oh, mate. Tastes like shit. Tastes alright. Is it vinegar? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. But I like sour beers. <laughs> when you leave it for too long, it, it, it smells like horse piss. Yeah, it smells like vinegar and horse piss mixed together. Not that I've, not that I've tried horse piss, but you know, I surmise. How do you make? <laughs> How do you make horse piss? Which beach are we going to park? That one. Where the blue umbrella thing is. Yeah, where the, there's a little house there. Cool. We'll round up the troops then. Right? Well, we'll start the fire and get going now. <laughs> We're going to do a, a beach fire over on that island over there. Yeah. You in? Yeah. Cool, man. We'll see you guys over there. Yeah, mate. Peace. Gathering the troops. Come on, boat tour. <laughs> Look at this boat tour. <laughs>
Boat two. Boat two. Boat two. Dude, you caught us at like our worst moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like 30, 30 something foot. A swan. 37, yeah. Swan 37. Yeah. This is the Anya owner of Capitano. Max. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, I can be a tour inside as well. We're just making bread, so there's like pots and pans and shit. <laughs> Don't worry, we've just been on a worse boat than this. <laughs> a worse boat. Yeah, it's a bit of different from like a catamaran. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is the bread right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pressure cooker bread. These these are all beds actually, like because it's originally a racing boat, so there would actually be like eight people on board, like everyone having a different bed, like constantly changing. Get head in there. Yeah, it's a little bit gross. Was it one head? Yeah. 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 Yeah, just to get interesting. <laughs> yeah. Just we come around and invite you to a barbecue, beach barbecue. Yeah, if you're up for it, good. we're gonna go to that island over there. <laughs> no bear ever gets left behind. How many people do we have in the dinghy right now? Ten. 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 Dealing with palm leaves the whole time. <laughs> it's like a goat. <laughs> look, at that, look, it's a goat. Who wants to ride my goat? Come on. So how's everyone doing? Yeah, good. Good yeah, people. So <laughs> I think we got enough wood. Yeah, mate. The Taj Mahal. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Okay, people. <laughs> this is Plucky's favorite pumpkin. Okay, people. Recipe. What do you think about the pumpkin, people? You better, you better stand up to a stand. You're gonna burn your damn tongue up. <laughs> Don't put it in like that. You'll burn You're gonna your, burn the you'll, shit out of you. You'll burn your bum hole from just up there. <laughs> Alright guys, we're about to set off. We're going to head to Green Island, which is about five or six miles south. So we're going to have a nice downwind sail. Race. It's a, it's a race. Then we're going to go with Dalos again and Calico Skies and Elixir. So there's going to be four boats. Game on. There goes Dalos. Here we are. Can't really see the reefs very well, so I'm going to have to follow the charts. Maybe slow down a little bit. There's like five, six different reefs you have to avoid coming out of here, so I don't feel like jiving out of here with the spinnaker up, you know? Yeah. I'm screwed up tax coming in here. Yeah. It's unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just wait a few more minutes and get out. And we have a nice straight run. About 15 knots of wind. I think it'll be great to throw up the kite. Spinnaker only race. Um, Dallas has got their main up as well. But uh, I think we're just going to throw the spinnaker up. We should do eight, nine knots just with the spinnaker up. So plenty of wind out here. Okay, so we're setting up the spinnaker.
very well done. Perfect, Jimmy is fuck, but yeah, no, sometimes I'm good and then sometimes I'm bad. <laughs> we did well. This is fun. Yeah. We're going fast. We're doing pretty good. We're doing uh, seven knots right now, towing yeah. the dinghy. We're just doing eight. He's gonna blanket our wind. Yeah, too. he's catching our wind. Hey, turn your engine off! <laughs> I'm sweaty! <laughs> it's like so... Sorry? I lost the sock line. Oh no. I pulled out of my hair. They've just uh, lost control of their um, the dousing line to bring the sock down. You can see it now, it's on their bottom spreader. It just released off the spreader. Yeah, I screwed up the, when the kite went up. I, the retrieval line for the sock slipped out of my hand and it's wrapped around the furler now. So I've actually got to go up and get it, which kind of sucks. But uh, we're behind a reef right now and it's calmed down a little bit. Kaz is gonna pull me up. I'm just gonna try and grab it and come right down. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I don't like going up under sail. I know, I'm a little Especially with the, the kite up, but it'll be fine. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go on autopilot. Yep. Harley is gonna catch up with us. Okay, we lost the sock line, which is not a very good thing because it's like super... You might have to go off the mat. I took a lot of energy to pull myself up there. Holy. Oh. Good job though, that feels a lot better. It would have yeah. been gnarly to drop it without the sock. Yeah, that would have been terrible. I'm like shaky. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work, this sailing. I know. So we're just ahead of Dallas now. It's super close. We're doing about eight knots. But right now they're, they're blocking our wind. Wow, neck and neck. We're losing. No, uh, we're actually, because we're upwind of them, we're actually got less, less distance to go to the finish line. So close. Neck and neck. We're slightly to windward, we're closer to the finish line. But they are actually going a little bit faster than us. Alright, so we're just about there. As soon as we pass this reef on our port side, we're just going to set the autopilot and we're going to bear off to starboard a little bit more downwind. Uh, which will put the, the spinnaker behind the main a little bit. Here we go, he's just changed course. We're making a mad dash for the finish line. Woo! It's gonna be close race! <laughs> it's windy out here. We've got 1.1 miles to the finish line. Man, this is a photo finish. Delos takes us. Delos just put their mainsail up as well, so they got full sail. 
Uh, with the full set of sail, it's gonna be hard to catch her, but uh, we never know. And we're winning! Ah! <laughs> I hope! So far, anyway! So they just took the lead. I think we won! <laughs> I, I think won. we did a good job. Woo! That was awesome. It was very close though. I mean, they were only like a few boat lengths behind us, so. Yeah, it was good. But we won this one, they won last one, so. We redeemed ourselves. Yeah. Stoked. Nice, it's nice to go somewhere new. It still felt so surreal that we were actually racing against the one and only SV Delos. Them being able to pull out their mainsail with their in mast furler proved to be the difference in this race. But it was just so fun to be able to see what our boats could do. But life at sea isn't all fun and games, as we found out the following morning. The rat is touching. The boat, the boat's on a, on a hill. Boat's on the reef right now. Hello. You serious? Yeah. Oh, you're on the reef. Far up. I think your rudder's touching. Okay, thank you, thank you. You sure you're okay? I think we can see your rudder touching. <laughs> her, her rudder is touching the reef right now. She's just calmly putting some things away and she's about to start up. So yeah, we've been watching. The, 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 boat, the, the boat's keeled over right, like, right now. Like it's, the rudder is touching the reef. And she knew who he was. Yeah. <laughs> from, hey, Tom. Uh, from Panamarina. Ah. What the hell? <laughs> and she didn't say like, can't or this. No, no, but she was like, thank you very much. She's gone back down for a nap. Yeah. Despite not wanting help, we couldn't sit back and watch this boat get pushed further up onto the sandbag by the strong winds. So we had to go back. Are you sure we can't help you? She's on the, she's on the reef, uh, sandy bottom luckily. Let me drive forward and take the pressure off. Go forward. Go ahead. Go forward. She was so relaxed and her, her boat was on the sand. That was kind of scary. Wow. My heart's pumping. That shit's scary. Hate for that to happen to Parley. The problem is the wind swung round like 90 degrees. So we all anchored here last night. We're all facing that way. We all wake up this morning and our sterns are facing the reef. So we're super close to the reef here. Well, now we know it's actually sand, um, but still not a good position to be in. You know what, that's making me want to dive the anchor again. Let's go have a look. So the people on that boat that we uh, got off the reef came around with some toilet paper. Oh. No way. And some wine to say thank you because we let them know that we kind of have to go back to Linton Bay because we ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> See you later. Dallas is leaving. They're gonna go to another island. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tiebreaker. What nice people. So down to earth. Who would have thunk it? Next time you see us, we'll be trading whiskey. <laughs> see you guys. 
<laughs> Never let go. <laughs>